Madam First Lady, Mrs. Fatima Bio, Ministers and Deputy Ministers of the Sierra Leone Government, the Commander Joint Force of the Sierra Leone Armed Forces, the representative of the Director General of the Ministry of Defense, the Inspector General of Police, the Director General of Correctional Service, if they are present, senior military officers, both serving and retired, officers, men and women of the Republic of Sierra Leone Armed Forces, members of the First Estates, our distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, our honored 79 squad, the armed forces wives, the barracks mommy queen, I am Major, J I am Major Julia Kamara, the master of ceremony for this program. I work as the general officer, um, level two of the MOD. As I've already said, I'm the master of ceremony for this program. In commemoration of the International Women's Day, as part of the celebration, this is a demonstration of our commitment to gender equality by celebrating this remarkable day with the theme, Women in Leadership, Achieving an Equal Future in a COVID-19 World. So being the MC of this program, I now declare this program so we open. Agenda. Presently, we have open prayers. First, we have the Muslim prayers by the Imam. Imam, please come up for the Muslim prayers. This could be followed by Christian prayers. Barauju billahi mina shaitan or adim. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Uh, and this morning, I'm going to recite from chapter 33 of the Holy Quran, verse 31. Allah has this to say in a glorious Quran that Waman nak notu minu kunna lillahi wa rasulihi wa na amalu shuliha nutiha ajroha. Marataini wa atadna la rizikan kareem. Meaning, and whosoever is obedient to Allah, that is your creator and his messenger, be it Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam or Jesus Christ, and those righteous good deeds, we shall give her rewards. Mm -hmm. And this verse is for you, especially women. And we shall give her rewards two wise over, and we have prepared for her or him Rizik and Karim. Rizik and Karim mean a noble provision. Many, you will be rewarded here in this world and in the hereafter. And Allah went further to say, O oh, wife of the Prophet, as an, an example, you are not like any other women. You are not like either, any other women. If you keep your duty to Allah without hypocrisy, then let be not soft in your speech. Many, you should not be so nice to other men in order to psych them up and forget about your husband. You have to be sincere. You have to be obedient to your husband. That is what Allah was one or other is trying to say. By so doing, you'll be able to attract evil men. They will desire you. They will, those men will desire uh, for adultery. They will be moved by. That is what Allah was one or other is trying to talk. But speak in an honorable manner and stay in your houses unless if you allow it by your husband to do so and do not display your beauty like that of other women like in those of ignorance may god allow us one or two allah bless us inshallah Allahumma rabbana zalamna anfusana wa illam takfir lana wa tarahamna lana kunna namna al-khasirin Subhana rabbika rabbi iza tamaya sifur wa salam ala al-mushalina alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen God bless you, God bless us all. God bless you ma. That's good. We want to thank Imam for that wonderful prayer and sermon. We now invite um, the Christian prayer. The Christian prayer please. O 
Okay, before the prayer, I want to quote from Titus chapter 2, verses 1 to 5. It reads, But speak thou the things which be become sound doctrine, that the aged men be sober, grave, temperate, sound in faith, in charity, in patience. The aged women likewise, that they may be in behavior as becometh holiness, not false accusers not giver to much wine, teachers of good things, that they may teach the young women to be sober, to love their husbands, I mean those that are married, to love their children, to be discreet, chaste, keepers at home, good, obedient to their own husbands, that the word of God be not blasphemed. Let us pray. Our Father and our God, we thank you for this morning. We thank you for this great day that you have set before us. We pray for our women that, Lord, Heavenly Father, according to the scriptures, that they will abide and live a holy life that's worthy of their calling. I pray in desire's love that women will find the rightful place and they will excel in their duties. I pray you will bless them in every side so that your name will be glorified. We well, thank you for our first lady that is in our midst today to grace this occasion. We pray that, Lord, in his tenure, there will be success in everything she does. We pray for the great victory over anything that the enemy might want to do. We pray that, Lord, she will achieve her achievement and our love will succeed in the name of Jesus. Thank you, gracious Father, for in Jesus' wonderful name we have prayed. Shall we share the grace, the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, rest remain and abide with us all, now and forevermore. Amen. Thank you so much, Padre. Next on the agenda is the Declaration of Purpose to be made by Captain Cecilia Mono. Thank you very much, Major Julia. Please permit me to stand on existing protocols. Good morning, all. My role here this morning is simple. I've been tasked to do the declaration of this great event. We all know that the month of March is International Women's Month. The eighth is only selected to maximize the activity or to pay cognizance of the month. We are members of the Republic of Sierra Leone Armed Forces, mainly female personnel, who are gathered here this morning to commemorate the International Women's Day and also do a reflection on the Service Women Day, which His Excellency, the President, retired Brigadier Julius Mandabio, Commander-in-Chief of the Republic of Sierra Leone Armed Forces, declared September 2019. His intention was geared towards women equality, gender parity, and also equal rep uh, representation of all sexes in the RS LAF. Today, we are not only commemorating the International Women's Day, but we are also celebrating women of the Republic of Sierra Leone Armed Forces. Over the years, since 1979, when the first batch of soldiers were recruited into the Republic of Sierra Leone Armed Forces to perform infantry rule. However, since that period, there has been improvement in all batches of women's recruitment. Today, we are here to do a reflection. Since the, since the involvement of women into the ARSLAF up to date, what have we women been doing? We are here this morning not only to commemorate or celebrate, but to also showcase our successes and achievements as women in an institution that is dominated by men. 
irrespective of the fact that the ice life is dominated by men, we as women, we are striving, we are trying to create a space so that our voices will be heard, our participation will be realized, and our contribution to the national development of not only the Republic of Sierra Leone Armed Forces, but the nation of Sierra Leone as a whole. Our successes are undefinable because we are being represented in all strata of the Anslav. Operationally, we are the fire eaters. We are at the war front. We are at the front at the fight of the COVID pandemic. We are deployed in quarantine centers, isolation facilities, MAP duties, and even the CDC, the Center for Disease Control. We have our footprints there. So they, if not all, any other day, we are going to celebrate ourselves and we are proud of our achievements. I thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Captain Munu. Our voices will be heard. Our voices will be heard. And then we go thus far. So next on the agenda, we have background of the ASLAF um, service women by Captain AKCC. together.